Welcome to Statistics in Excel video three. Hey, we're on the data analysis sheet tab and we're in the workbook Business 210 Chapter 00 Intro to Excel.XLSM. As always, if you go to my college website, you can download these workbooks. Hey, we got to talk about the second excellent thing that Excel does. Just a moment ago, we talked about calculating, but now we need to talk about data analysis. Now, in this class, we are going to deal with real world data sets. And data usually comes in database form or Excel table form. That's the word they use in Excel 2007. Or in earlier version, they said Excel list. But it's really database form. Here are field names. At the top of each column, we have a field name. This field name is the variable. Here we have a date. So each row is going to have a date, a sales rep, a customer, sales, cost of goods sold, and region. These are called columns, which are fields. This whole, this whole column is a field. That's the field name. Each one of these rows is called a record. Another word for these. Uh, field names is variable. So for each record, we have a variable, right? And this sales could be any particular number. Now, here's the data set. It's never going to have empty columns or empty rows. I just did a little tricky, trickery there. I'm going to control ZZ. In order for the data analysis tools to work in Excel, you need to have no blank, completely blank columns or, or rows. So data analysis. Let's start off by looking at a simple example. We would like to sort. But first, let's see how big this data set is. I want you to click in the cell, and I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut that jumps your cursor to the bottom of the current range. Current range is defined as keep going until you hit a blank cell and then jump one above. I'm going to control down arrow. Oh, wow, look, 594 rows. Hey, this is a real world data set. Data sets are this big and sometimes much bigger. Now. Control down arrow jumps to the bottom of the current range. If you control down arrow again, whoa, you go all the way to the bottom. Current range can be defined as if there's blanks, it just goes until the end, till it runs into the end. Now control up arrow, oh, it jumps to the last one. And then control up arrow, it jumps to the top. Control home if you get lost in your spreadsheet. Remember, you're, you want to come home safely. So control home goes to A1. Now, I would like to see you, show you how to sort. Now, there's a data ribbon, and there's sorting A to Z and Z to A. This is smallest to biggest, and this is biggest to smallest. There's also a sort dialog box. We're probably going to tend to stick to these buttons. Just click that button. Just like that, it sorts from the smallest all the way to the biggest. Now, I'm going to control Z and show you something very important about this. When you sort, and the reason why we have no blank rows and columns is first off, we want all the data. And second off, when we sort, it actually takes this whole record. So I'm actually going to show you a way to prove this to yourself. I'm going to highlight that whole one. I'm going to go up to the home ribbon. I'm going to select yellow. Now, click in one cell. And the key to sorting is you can't go like this or like this. You want one cell in the column on which you want to sort. Now, since we want to sort from smallest to biggest, A to Z, my cursor is in one cell in the field sales. Now, instead of going up to the data and then A to Z in 2007, you can right click and point to sort. Now, this is off the screen, so you can't see this. So I'm going to use my scroll and I'm going to right click sort and here we have sort smallest to biggest largest and also we have custom sort but we're going to stick to these i'm going to say a to z instantly it sorts the whole database the whole excel table and if we scroll down and get to our sevens we can see that every record retained uh, each element, each field, or each variable for that particular record. So it doesn't mix everything up. It actually moves all the records perfectly. So that's sorting. That's one example of data analysis. Another example and the most powerful feature in Excel is pivot tables. And we're going to be using a lot of pivot tables in this class. What we'd like to do is show sales reps down one uh, as row headers 
and region as column headers. We want a little table with one sales rep and one region and add up. So in essence, what we want to do is we want to add up all of the Tom's sales for Midwest and all of Tom's sales for East and all of Tom's sales for Northeast. Now, if you're using formulas and building a little table, it's totally possible in Excel, but it is much, much harder than to use a pivot table. So we're going to use a pivot table. Pivot tables are in insert. Now, the same as sorting, when you begin a pivot table, you just want one cell selected. And it actually doesn't matter where it is. It could be in the field name or any column, but make sure it's in one cell in your database or Excel list. Go up to Insert, Pivot Table. It's actually Insert, Pivot Table Groups, Pivot Table, and then Pivot Table. And this is a great improvement on earlier versions. There is just one step for Pivot Table. There used to be three. It says Select Table Range. Because we have uh, our cursor in the properly set up uh, database, it guessed right A4 to F. 594. We don't we want this in a new worksheet, so we simply have to click OK. Now this is a big improvement. The uh, column labels and row labels and values are set up exactly the way uh, are labeled over here. They used to have to drop them inside of the sheet, the pivot table where the pivot table will appear, but now you can just simply take these field names and drag them. Remember we want sales rep in the row and region in the column. Now how you do it is the field list and we this is a list of exactly each one of the fields. So since we want sales rep in the row we click and drag and when you see that little uh, blue line or you can see the icon there the actual blue in the icon is showing that it's in, as a row header and drop instantly look what it does it gives us a unique list it looks through all almost 600 records and gives us one of each uh, sales rep now let's do the same thing for region click and drag to the column boom instantly let's see if we can point to the edge of this field list and click and drag Let's um, not do that. I don't know why it's not working. It's right there. How mean is that? Uh, there's other views. They're actually right here. We can say field only, area section, section. Let's say field list only. Oh, that doesn't work either. I guess it does. It's still not going to work. I'm going to drag this back over. Click on this and go back to field, this one right here. So it's got the field names here and then the areas in the pivot tables here. And I'm going to close this just for a moment. We'll open it back up and see there it is. Very quickly, it builds a little table for us. Here are the sales reps and here are the regions. Now I'm going to right click somewhere inside of the pivot table and say show field list. Now we simply take our sales and since we want to add up the sales, for instance, Midwest Chin, Midwest East, we want a uh, sum of all the sales. We just drag the sales to the values, and just like that, let's close this field list. That is profound how quickly that is. Now, one last thing there's some context sensitive ribbons up here pivot table tools, there's options, pivot table design, I mean, and I want to go to layout. Remember, the, your ribbons are going to be fully expanded. If I expand my uh, screen here and click on options you can um, design you can see that the layout and the pivot table style options are much larger but I'm gonna have to have my screen quite small here I'm gonna click on design and layout and I wanna say report layout and show in tabular the advantage to tabular is that it will give us our field names there's sales rep there's region and then right here it says sum of sales all right, um, that is our first exposure to a pivot table in data analysis. We saw sorting and pivot tables. And in fact, before we leave, I want you to sheet four is not a good sheet name. So I'm going to double click that, or you can right click and rename. Remember, when you right click, you have to right click the thing. I'm right clicking the sheet name and saying rename. I'm going to see this. Call this PT01 for Pivot Table 01. All right, we'll see you next uh, video or do a little bit more data analysis.